Here's a man wide open, and it is complete to T.J. Jones for the touchdown. Jones with his second career touchdown. This one, 53 yards. T.J. Jones, I was born in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Currently live in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm a junior in Notre Dame. I got five siblings, one older brother, two younger brothers, two younger sisters. Uh, I got a mom at home, and I uh, had a dad till he passed last summer from a uh, brain aneurysm. Yeah, we were uh, at practice over the summer here, and uh, one of the coaches came, pulled me off the field, pulled me to his office, told me he had to get me on a flight immediately home because my dad was sick. Uh, before practice, I had found out that they found him in the bathroom. Uh, they weren't sure what was wrong, but they said the ambulance had told him that. Uh, that they just thought he was dehydrated. So he just kind of, you know, passed out, hit his head on the toilet, and uh, that was that. And then they found out that it was a brain aneurysm. That's when they called me to get me home. And then I uh, flew home, walked into the hospital, saw a bunch of people there, saw him laying in the bed. And that was, uh, yeah, that was that day. His emotions were unthinkable, unspeakable. It was an interesting relationship, because he knew kind of all the details of what I was already going through because he went through you know, high school, college, and pro football. So he knew how to handle the issues that I was going through with. But at the same time, he also knew what to expect of me. So at times where we could talk and he could help me out with things, he was also harder on me because he knew what it took to get to the next level and what it takes to you know, be great at the next level. At first, it worked against me coming here because I wanted to be my own person. And on my visits here, everyone knew me as you know, Dre's little son. So I wanted to kind of make my own path. But uh, USC game, my senior in high school, I came up for a visit here. And it was something different. It just, you know, felt right. Felt like I needed to be here, not just because my dad went here, but it's history here. I had family around the area. So at the end of the day, him having an influence on Notre Dame helped a good bit in my decision to come here. I think all of my play, is inspired by him and my mom. Because I know for him, it's, I'm still, you know, he's still watching me, so I gotta make him proud every day. And uh, for my mom, it's, you know, I gotta take care of us. So whether that's getting a degree and uh, going off into the workforce there, or being fortunate enough to go to the NFL for a little bit, I gotta make ends meet for my mom and keep my dad proud. So it inspires me a lot. You know, last season was hard not having him to talk to after the games, to kind of critique my play, this, this, and that. And uh, for a lot of games, it was tough. Mentally, I couldn't, mentally, I broke down a lot and had a lot of, not temper tantrums, but I spazzed a lot, just in general, coaches, players, not meaning to, but my emotions were still offset. And they still are a little bit now, but you know, I'm learning to deal with it. To this day, and always and forever, he's my one and only dad. I love him with all my heart, even though we had our differences. And uh, there's not a day, second, minute that goes by that I'm not thinking about him. You know, thinking like what he's doing in heaven. I know he's enjoying himself. So it's just, uh, it's a good way to kind of get my mind off things, just to think about him and kind of reminisce and, you know, always work to make him proud. Because I know that, you know, one day I'm going to see him again. And when I see him, I want to know that he's still proud of me.